Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Last time I did a conversion on the N70 Hilux, I was doing the pre-facelift to facelift swap. This time, I'm getting rid of those leaves, I'm doing the coil conversion video. I'm out here at Denon 4x4 Park to test it out, but to start with, let me take you on the journey that I've just been through. I've ripped out all the leaves, put new coils in there, new shocks all around, new upper control arms, and I've had the help from Superior Engineering. So let me take you on the journey. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I am chatting to the noise. So I need a coffee. I need a coffee. Get out of my way. Oh, get out of my way. <laughs> I'm on my way today to Superior Engineering and I'm gonna be getting a coil conversion. After talking to Superior about how it all works, uh, I've decided to go ahead with the coil over conversion in the N70 Hilux. I'm bringing you guys along. I'm gonna show you guys what's involved. Well, here we are, down at Superior. I've got the car booked in, so better go meet the guys and uh, hand the keys over, eh? So we're just gonna be doing pre-vehicle inspection, checking out the scratches marks. It is important for these sorts of things making sure that you drop your car off and you pick it up the same condition. Um, luckily enough, there's plenty of scratches and marks, so I don't really care. But it's good that they're marking it all down. I'm happy with that. The form that I actually signed when I dropped it off, uh, it's also asking whether I'm gonna be keeping my parts. That's a really good thing. Um, not many businesses actually ask if you wanna keep your old parts. So I'm all fashionable now, I've got my high vis on. I've had to empty out uh, the back. There is the need to actually remove the tub and canopy off the car, but it is a need to do it. So we've had to empty out the back, empty it out, it's ready to go pretty much. So we'll go around, see the boys and uh, watch what they're doing. It's squeaky. So the beast is up on the hoist. It's got the, the tail lights out. I'm guessing it's disconnected a lot of the wiring as well, but um, yeah. Time to start stripping it by the looks of it. The boys already got stuck into it. They started to do the tear down and I got Mitch with me to be able to talk through some of those things that I'm not the specialist in. So Mitch, tell me, what is it that's actually gonna be benefited by changing out? The, the core conversion's really designed in a way of to gain comfort, gain a hell of a lot, lot more articulation, but still give that same weight carrying characteristics as a leaf spring can, can give. Um, Coil springs will always do exactly what a leaf spring can do every day of the week, but offer a lot more comfort, a lot more articulation to give the car an overall better ride, better handling characteristics to do exactly what you need it to do. Um, with these core conversions, we go with the long, um, long arm upper and lower, um, with as well as extending the pan out to the absolute maximum length we can get out of, a core, out of the vehicle and chassis itself um, to allow it to avoid rear steer and make sure the car handles the correct way it does so you don't get that sort of side-to-side -side motion that you can feel from a panard rod. Yeah. Um, being we have to keep these a five link, um, purely to um, retain the factory fuel tank. Um, it just keeps, again, the cost down, um, OEM parts fit for the fuel tank and that sort of thing. Um, it just makes it a lot simpler design of going to a five link rather than the four links that we love in the 79 series. Yeah, for sure. So I'm obviously going to keep my factory fuel tank you just said. Yes, yep. Um, what else am I keeping from factory? What am I losing? Um, you're obviously losing shock absorbers. We have to change those out to virtually a patrol shock absorber. Um, that gives you a massive range choice of length uh, when going to our remote res tunability as well. Um, you gain with the coil springs, they're a custom made coil that we get um, made by King Springs and then sometimes we also get them made by EFS, um, purely for the fact that we don't have a coil winding machine. Um, so all, all to our spec and design, um, and then we go ahead, um, retain the factory diff housing, 
So you retain your factory axles, factory diff center, factory axle seals, wheel bearings, all that sort of stuff. So it's super easy to come by. Yeah. Um, that way it makes it super, super serviceable, but as well as having that custom ride comfort and that from a core conversion. So pretty much I'm out on the track, I break something, I'm not having to get a custom part in, no, I'm still using factory exactly. Toyota parts. We, we a, lot, a lot of the time aim for that with a lot of our products to give that serviceability. Because if someone goes up the Cape and break an axle, no one's going to have a superior engineering axle on the shelf to get it fixed. And there's that downtime of waiting for us to send parts. So the more factory product we can retain, that obviously offers that maximum strength as well as reliability, serviceability, we always do. Um, because yeah, it makes it easier for touring um, and driving around and people that obviously we ship things worldwide. It, it helps us to give that serviceability to anyone anywhere um, to make it super easy and our kits work with anyone. There you go. So I could have said it, but it wouldn't have sounded like that. So we got the expert Mitch in to tell me, uh, but we're gonna leave the boys to it. Uh, the guys here are gonna film for us as well. I gotta head back and do some work. But thanks Ethan, Mitch. No I'll leave with you. Man. Cheers. So easy. As you can see guys, the chassis is now fully welded out. What we do when it comes to welding on chassis rails is weld in 50 millimeter stitch weld increments. This is for engineering and government processes to meet the Australian standard. What happens with when you seam weld a, to a chassis rail, this can be an extremely strong point, but what it does is actually make a weak point somewhere else in the chassis rail. The boys are getting this one prepped and ready for paint. So what will happen next, between each of the stitch welds will get sealed with Sikaflex to give that watertight protection against rust. As well, then the chassis will get recoated in that weld through primer again before getting a full coat of Raptor coating with that super durable finish. Then it's all is left to do is get all of the new suspension and diff housing bolted back up so we can get this old girl back on the road. She is the Media Hilux in its glory. Superior engineering have come through with the goods. They have absolutely smashed this out. The coil conversion rear, we've got the billet uppers, we've got the new front end there. It's all done. What more can I say, really? She's looking amazing. Can't wait to flex it up. The boys are going to get the forklift out. We've got it all there, prepared. Chuck it under the wheels, get it up in the air. Let's see what it can do. Let's go. Back, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the let out the big shoes. Check out the crease. Blow like I'm big foot stomp on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the cleats. When the whole place scream, gotta get out the. Yeah, I, I hear him check to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him check with the boys. Not so tough, but man's keep walking. Yeah, just too sharp with the prize. White girls better tell me I'm awesome. Yeah. Like fire on the pan If you wanna touch my please use caution Stop that 
So there it is guys, as you can see the leafs are gone. So now there's a brand new falling system, there's a panard, there's coils, there's been heaps of welding, grinding, cutting, and of course there's a Superior Engineering 2.5 remote resi adjustable shocks front and rear. So it's a brand new setup and also I've got the upper control arms in there which are adjustable and allows you to be able to have the perfect setup in the front. So with all that being said, down here at Genoa Park, I better get out there and actually give it a test. So I'm taking you with me. I'm gonna put some GoPros underneath. I've done some recording in the past with all the GoPros underneath with the leaf setup. And now it's got the coils in it. Let's chuck another GoPro underneath. You guys can see the experience you get when you're off-road. And I'm gonna to try to capture a little bit of footage of me inside the car, talking you through the experience that I'm having. I've already done 3000 kilometers down to Jindabyne and back, and also a few different places in between. I've done heaps of testing with it in that sense on-road. And I know that on-road it's absolutely amazing. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here's our first little incline that we've got. Going down a hill. Nice and easy. It's gonna be flexing up just about here. Yep, all full grip. No trouble at all. There's a little bit of a hit underneath. Could have actually been the GoPro on the car. So up the next hill, again, Couple of big mounds, nothing serious. Coils are gonna be into action with this. Just super smooth and rides like a dream, really. if the GoPro survived that one. <laughs> Probably not. It'll be cooked. Oh yeah, that's a good puddle. There's a fair bit of wheel lift that goes on. So these ruts didn't used to actually be this big last time I was out here. And it was only a few months ago. It wasn't actually that long. So the first part of the section is pretty easy. It's just this end last bit that I really get caught up in. But I'm going to ride it a little bit different. Didn't really go into the wombat hole. Flexed it out. That rode much better. Well guys, that's it. That's the testing done and dusted. I think I've put the Hilux through its testing enough and uh, when it's sitting up like that, it's pretty clear that it's very capable. So if you've got a Leaf car and you want to convert it to coilover, jump over to the Superior website, have a look, see if your car is compatible well into their kits, book in and get it done today. As for now, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up and uh, see you out on the track. Stop that. Like zero
12 degrees I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the, let out the. Yeah. I hear him chops in the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking 